everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here and today's video is going to be a huge holiday haul so we are due to go away next week fingers crossed it still goes ahead with all of the flight situations and with the airports at the moment it's not looking great but I thought I would still show you because this is going to be great for summer as well so I've bought loads of stuff for myself and for the kids I'm going to show you today and also some other random holiday bits that we're going to take with us as well which I thought would be really good and that you would really like to know about so if you want to see what I have bought for our holiday so far then just keep watching let's get started I think what I'm going to do first is go for everything that I've got for myself so far then we'll go to the boys bits and then we'll go to like the beach and holiday essentials so let's start with me first of all I'm going to show you a couple of bits that I got in Primark the other day I've got quite a few bits actually I may have shown you this before but I bought a visor from ASOS a few weeks ago now but it's got a tie-up section at the back and this one I spotted in Primark has just got this open part, which I thought was so much easier. You know, if you've already got your hair up or even down, you can just pop the visor on and it's just like really fuss free and easy. You can just put it in your bag. If it's a bit too sunny, pop it on like when you're sunbathing or whatever. I don't really like to have the sun on my face when I'm sunbathing. So this is just going to be ideal. And it's absolutely huge, this visor. This is a little bit granny vibes, but... I mean, I don't really care when I'm on holiday. So this is four pounds and I mean, it definitely looks better when I've got my hair up. So let's just ignore the fact that I look a bit crazy right now, but it's just gonna be really, really handy when we're away. So I got that. I also got myself a bucket hat. Now I'm not really one to wear hats really, but again, I thought this would be quite a nice one by the pool and it's just got that kind of toweling material to it. So it's four pounds again. I haven't even tried this on, so it could be terrible, but let's have a look. Oh my God. I feel like I'm in a band in the 90s now. <laughs> okay, this is not going well, but I mean, I think I can, I can, I can probably pull it off when my hair is curled. Do you, do you know what I mean? But anyway, again, it's going to be nice when I need to get the sun out of my eyes. So I got that from Primark. Very, very cute. I also got a couple of pyjama sets actually in there. Not pyjamas, like shorts and like a cami top. And I thought this was just so lovely. So I went for this bright pink, got like a leopard print and zebra kind of design on it. And I got this in a size medium, so 12 to 14, and it's actually quite forgiving. So if you're usually between sizes, go for your, your smaller size, I would. So yeah, 12 to 14, it was seven pounds. And yeah, very, very comfortable, really soft and like lightweight as well, which I thought was really nice. I've also got this bag of stuff from Primark as well. So I'm gonna show you these bits as well. I love this bag. This is like my shopping bag, Busy Mama's Club. So cute and it's so big, so I can get quite a lot in it. So I'm going to show you these sandals that I got from Primark. These are so beautiful. They've got that kind of, um, what would you say, like a rope design on them. Really lovely slip-on sandals. Now these, I'm not sure of the price because I haven't got the uh, tag in here. I'm not sure how much they were because it doesn't say the price on there. And I've already taken the tag off because I wanted to wear them the other day. But they were only cheap. I think they were probably around seven or eight pounds. So love those. Very nice if you're wearing like all black and you've got a couple of like a straw bag, a really lovely hat. Just really easy, nice to wear, kind of goes with everything I would say. So I got that. I also bought this hair accessory. It was £2.50. I don't really tend to wear these very often in my hair, but I thought it would be really nice if I'm wearing something with a pop of pink. I could even like pop it on my bag just to add that little bit of colour. And I thought it was really fun and pretty. And again, I don't really have that much like this in my collection shall we say so i got that this is the other pajama set that i got so this was the floral version and again very pretty liked the colors of this one and it's so soft it's really really stretchy very soft again i got this in a medium and this one was seven pounds as well and then you've also got the matching shorts there as well so i've got that so I've got two little pyjama sets there, which are really lovely. I did buy another pair of sandals. Now, I thought these are really nice for, you know, when you want to dress up a little bit, but you don't want to add a heel. These look a little bit smarter, I was thinking. They were, how much are these? £6. They've got these in loads of colours. I wish I bought the pink now as well, because I'm really loving pink at the moment. But this is what they look like. They're just a strappy sandal. They're just flat. But again, you know, when you want to dress your outfit up a little bit, but you don't want to wear heels this kind of thing would be really really great and I went for this tan colour like tan 
slash camel colour because I thought that goes with everything doesn't it so those are the ones I got again I wish I went for like some of the colours as well just thought it would be really fun but I don't want to take too many shoes with me although I have got quite a few pairs actually but yeah anyway I got this as well so I got a extra small I think this is the only size they had actually but it will be fine because it's stretchy it's just a little boob tube type top with really really tiny thin straps I find these are really really useful to wear under a shirt so I've got lots of linen shirts and I want to wear them a little bit open at the top and things like this just look so much nicer and just bring an outfit together I think this was only three pounds so yeah it's going to stretch out it's just a simple black one. They did have a few other colours as well, but I went for black. I was keeping it safe. I did also get some shorts. Now, these shorts are a little bit longer than your normal shorts. Now, what are these called now? Let me see. These are just a denim short. I got them in a size 14. They were £12. And it's hard to see here because you can't really tell, but they are that little bit longer. And they've also got this kind of split at the side as well you know sometimes i'm not really one for like wearing shorts very often so finding a pair that are a little bit longer is just nice and they're really comfortable they haven't got any stretch to them and they've got this kind of frayed design at the bottom but they do kind of hold you in and they're not too tight if you know what i mean so yeah i got those just to be a little bit brave again like i said i don't really wear shorts very often but i thought i would just go with it and what i'm going to wear over the top is just this really loose um top here so it's just a blue very floaty very like balloon sleeves there like weight I just thought it'd be really nice you know when you're just going to the shops or walking to the beach or whatever I thought this would be really nice it's slightly cropped it's definitely shorter than what I would usually wear over something like that but I thought with those um, shorts it looks really nice I tried it on when I was in the shop this was a size 12 and it was only 11 pounds so very lightweight fabric again very pretty and I thought it would go really nice with the denim shorts and it does because I've tried it on already in store just a really lovely kind of casual outfit so that's what I got there and then I also got oh my umbrella is in there I've been looking for that all week and um, I also got these trousers so if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you would have seen that I did a reel where I was wearing some wide leg trousers from River Island. They were a beige colour. Really lovely. I did actually end up taking them back because I did ask on Instagram. I was like, should I keep them or should I um, take them back? Loads of you said to keep them. There was a few of you who said that maybe it was they were too long for me because I'm quite short. And I just like, I didn't feel comfortable enough in them. So I took them back. And then when I was in Primark, I saw these wide leg trousers and I thought these are really lovely for holiday they're really beautiful pattern blue and white I thought these would be perfect for Ibiza and they're just a wide leg trouser and then they've got the stretch at the back which I just thought it's just so nice but at the front there's no stretch at the front you've just got this band with the tie up and it's really really flattering so I went for those they were only eight pounds I got them in a size 14 and I thought this with like a white top a cute cardigan like a crochet cardigan would look really lovely I haven't got, got one of those actually with some sandals nice you know what I mean so when you want to wear trousers on holiday you could even wear this with a bikini or a swimsuit like a lovely white swimsuit would look beautiful with this or even black so that's what I got from Primark for myself I'm going to show you some other bits as well now that I've got just from random shops that you might want to see that I'm going to take on holiday as well with me so let me just grab those. Actually, I didn't show you. I didn't show you these sunglasses I got. Now I was just being a bit crazy here, going for the blue sunglasses. They've got a few different colours. I just thought maybe I can pull these off with a jazzy outfit. I thought it would be cool in photos. So I went for that. They have this gold side detail here. They've got these in a few different colours. They've got them in a really bright pink, a green, I think, like loads of different colours. So got those also i got some other sunglasses so these ones are from shein i ordered a couple of bits from shein these are just my standard sunglasses that i wear every year they've got that ray-ban feel to them that's the kind of look that i'm going for with these i never buy expensive glasses because i just throw them in my bag i'm really terrible for looking after my glasses so i just get these dupes and they're perfect i think they're literally around three pounds something like that really really cheap from Shein so I got those ones and then I also got these sunglasses from ASOS I love to buy sunglasses I absolutely think they make an outfit look really put together and different like depending on what sunglasses you're wearing so I also went for these ones from ASOS 
they're a little bit they're not really my usual style because they're really quite 90s they're just like that wide rectangular look but again I feel like I'll be able to pull them off at some point so I got those ones from ASOS I love those this is like a collective haul by the way I haven't bought these all in one go I've just been buying things over the last couple of months to for holiday I did get these sandals so these sandals are from ASOS but they're actually from New Look so you could get them in New Look they're very Hermes inspired I thought I should get some white ones because I don't actually have any nice white sandals so I've got the tan pair now I've got a white pair as well and I just thought those are really, really lovely. I can't remember how much these were now, but under £10, I imagine. So those are the ones that I got from New Look via ASOS. I did also get these. Now, I'm actually going to a wedding later on today, like a wedding party. And I bought a dress, which I'm going to show you in this haul as well, because I think it would be nice for holiday too. And I didn't have any shoes to go with it. Not that, basically, where we're going is going to be like big tents, and it's like on... A field so I didn't want to be wearing like really thin heels uncomfortable because I've got a, a black pair that I've got from River Island which I would wear for the wedding but they were just a little bit too high and uncomfortable so when I went into new um, when I went into next yesterday I spotted these now they don't look like the most wedding-esque but they are gold they're gonna be ideal all year round they've got that chunkier heel which is quite low it's like a block heel the dress that I got for this wedding is the same style to a dress that I already have from River Island. So I've got this really gorgeous green kimono style dress from River Island, which I got last year when we went to Dubai. I wore it in Dubai. Love the dress. It's very comfortable, very floaty, comfortable. You know, if you're feeling a little bit bloated, you don't really want to wear a fitted dress. And I just wanted to go for that little bit more floaty, more um, whimsical. I can't really explain what I wanted, but I didn't want to go for that typical wedding guest dress so I wanted something with sleeves and I went with this so it's a pink tie up front style dress and it doesn't really look much on the hanger but it just feels so nice you know when you wear something you just feel nice in it it's really hard to show you it's not it's not a midi dress I would call it a mid axi because it is quite long and actually with this fabric right with the green dress I washed it on 40 degrees which is what it said to do and it shrinks the dress actually it worked out well because it actually fits me better now so when I got this dress because I got this in a size 12 I ordered the 14 because I thought that's what I'd ordered originally but I hadn't it was a 12 and the 14 was massive so I went and ordered the 12 the 12 was good but it's still again a little bit bigger so I've washed it and it fits me perfect now so I'm really happy because it's taken up a little bit in the length as well I don't know why they say to wash it on a certain like number and then all of a sudden the fabric reacts and shrinks but anyway it's worked in my favor for this dress and I love it. I can't remember. I can't really remember how much it was. Probably around fifty-five pounds, I think. But it is again a really nice dress for the summer as well. So if you're going on holiday and the evenings are a little bit more chilly or going for a nice meal, then this would be a really lovely option. Again, it's got like a tie front detail which goes over your tummy area. It's just really flattering, very comfortable. So I thought I would mention that because it's really, really pretty. Next item. This is all random now, so I'm just showing you random bits. This is a cover-up that I bought from Shein. You all know I'm loving green as well at the moment. This is kind of like a greeny blue, like a tealy colour, shall we say. Very nice cover-up. They only come in one size. This part in the middle section, which where your it sits just where your kind of tummy area is, is completely covered, which is really nice. But you've got like a bit of a see-through finish as well at the top. So when you're wearing like a bikini or a swimsuit, you can still see a little bit of that. But then this bit covers your tummy, which I thought was nice. And then the end is sheer again as well. So loved that. They've got those in a few different colours, like blacks and white. Yes, I got that. And then I also got this cover up. So it's just like one of those like skirts that you just tie around your waist. And it's like in this beigey linen effect material. It's not linen, but it just ties around your waist. So when you're wearing a swimsuit, you want to cover up your legs or whatever, or go for like a drink or whatever, then you can wear this as a skirt over the top. So love that. Again, that one's from Shein, very affordable Shein for swimwear and stuff like that. So that's what I got there. Another dress that I got recently is from Style Cheat. So I've actually got this dress in another style. So I am one of those people that if I like a type of dress or a type of like clothing, I will get it in every colour and every, you know, pattern or whatever. I have got this dress in black with like white stars on it, but I've got it in a 12 and it's a little bit... A little bit tighter than I would like so I went for this one in a size 14 and it's just beautiful so it's a shirt 
button up dress. It's also got a belt that goes around the waist as well. So it kind of just pulls you in in the right areas and it just flows. It flows out. Again, this is a Medaxi dress. It's quite long and I love it. It's got sleeves, like a three quarter length sleeve. This was perfect. So I wore this for the Jubilee and I just thought it was so, so beautiful. It's got all of those beautiful colours in it. Floral, very girly, very feminine and it just floats out bottom here as well. So I love that dress. Very, very gorgeous. They've got so many different colours and designs. It's a really flattering um, style. So if you're looking for a really pretty, flattering dress, really gorgeous for the day. You could even wear this for a wedding, I think. It would definitely work for a wedding. Um, yeah, I love it so much. Really, really pretty. So I got that one from Style Cheat. The next dress I got is from Matalan. I've tried this on in a reel recently, and it is this really long, so this is a maxi dress, floral, with the shirt, um, bust area and a half sleeve. So very pretty, I love the colours of this one. It's like purples, yellows, greens, and I just thought that would be really nice again for like an evening on holiday, going for dinner. I love that, it's very comfortable again, very floaty around the waist area. I'm all about floaty and comfort, that is just my style. I never wear anything fitted, it's just not, it's not comfortable for me. So. These are all very comfortable, very easy to wear. The next dress I got for myself is from ASOS actually, and it is brown. It's got that kind of high neck here, no sleeves. Again, we've got the sheared bust area. It's brown with daisies on it. So I will show you the pattern. This is what it looks like. And this is actually a shorter dress. So this is um, above the knee, very nice, very pretty on. This shared bit actually comes down a little bit further than I would usually go for. So it's a little bit more fitted at the top, but it actually looks really nice and I'm really comfortable in it. So that is what I got from ASOS. This is by the brand, let me see, Influence, and I got this in a size 14. I think this was in the sale, so I'm not sure if they have any left. I'm just going to show you a few other bits that I got for myself. So we've got this t-shirt from H&M. I like to wear oversized t-shirts like with cycling shorts or leggings in the summer. So I got this one. Again, it's got that hot pink detail on the front which I love and it's a nude t-shirt so it's just a bit of me that is this was uh, extra large and it is 9.99 very oversized very comfortable so yeah that's what I got from H&M I also got I also got a couple of these vests because I love wearing these again under my linen shirts or any shirt that I've got actually and it's just these simple kind of um tops here I like that it's got like the high neck at the front I think it looks really lovely so I went for the baby pink I've also got this in like a nude colour and then I've also got it in black and I have ordered it in white as well because I feel like you can't go wrong with black and white. So I did have this in a black and I don't know where I've put it so I, I bought it again. £5.99 that is so really really affordable and just perfect to wear under shirts and layer and all of that kind of stuff. The final item that I got for myself from H&M which I've actually ordered again in black as well is this play suit. Now I'm not one for a play suit either. But this one is really comfortable and it's fitted on the top. And then as you can see, it's got this real gathered um, design at the bottom and it's just really comfortable. It just flows. You know what I mean? You don't feel like you're wearing a play suit. You feel like you're wearing a dress, but you're that little bit more covered. And with kids and stuff, kind of up and down all the time, aren't you? So I feel like this is a really practical little outfit. And again, you can wear this down to the beach. You can wear it in the evening and dress it up with like a blazer. However you want to dress it up or dress it down. Very comfortable. And um, this one was, again, from H&M. It was only 12 99 I got a size medium because it is, you know, quite forgiving, stretchy, soft, gorgeous. I bought it in black as well, hoping it arrives in time for a holiday. So that is what we got from there. Oh my God, this is the longest haul ever. I hope you are still with me. If you are, give me a thumbs up and let me know you're still here. Let's go into the bag that I got by H&M now. Um, so this is a few bits that I got for the boys. So we're moving into the boys area now, um, which is always really fun actually. I enjoy buying things for the boys. I find them so easy to buy for. Now I can go into the, like the teen section for the boys actually, because this is from the teen section in H&M. I got this hoodie for Vinny. It's a tie dye hoodie with some pink writing on it. And this one was 14 99 I got it in an age 10 to 12, because it is, they're not like oversized or anything like that. So I got that in a 10 to 12. Thought that would be really lovely for Vinny. I got a couple of t-shirts for Orlando and Renzo. So I just got this one because I feel like they haven't got that many. This was only 2 99 I think. Very cheap. So I got that one for Orlando. I got exactly the same for Renzo so I won't show you that. 
I also got Landy a little hoodie as well. I love the colours on this. It's cream and blue with green writing and that was only 9 99 I thought again this would be quite nice if the weather is a little bit chillier in the evening or like a nice travel hoodie. It's hard to know what kind of um, items you're going to need for holiday because whether it's going to be a little bit chillier in the evenings I just like to be prepared for everything. I also got this little checked, is that checked or checkerboard kind of style top for Orlando and Renzo. They had their sizes so I got them in two, they were two ninety nine, and they've got this little orange writing on here as well. I just thought that was really fun. I did get Vinny a pair of shorts as well so I got him this pair of shorts. So they're just cream with the black and tan stripe down the side. And then I got this matching t-shirt which actually is a lighter cream t-shirt but it's got the same kind of pattern on there as well so that again is from H&M and um, that was $8.99 and then the shorts were $9.99 so just a nice essential he can wear this with so many things so I thought that was really good so that's everything we've got from H&M for the boys next we're into Primark now and the boys live in their football shirts or any kind of football sporty kits so when I saw these I thought this was really great for holiday because there is a football pitch where we're going they're going to be playing football all the time. So I got them these little sets. Very bright, but will look gorgeous with their tan as well. They're already so tanned, the boys. They're always outside. So I got them for both Vinny and Renzo. They were £7. And then you also get the matching t-shirt as well. So I thought that was really lovely. Very lightweight and very cool as well. So I got that. I also got them all some new swim shorts. I went for bright orange because they, I always try and find the same um, shorts for all three boys and this is the only colour they had in their size or they had some like red ones and whatever but I like the orange I thought again this is nice for Ibiza very bright I won't be missing them will I I won't like lose them when they're by the pool I got Orlando some denim shorts with like a stretchy waist at the top I love these they're just so much more comfortable they were five pounds in the light denim which I thought were nice and then I got this top to go with it because I thought that was nice like a leopard print top I think this might be from the Stacey Solomon collection I'm not 100% sure but it was only six pounds very oversized but I think it would be nice on him and it's just charcoal um blue yellows and that kind of like terracotta color which I thought was really nice uh, it. I also got these shorts for Renzo from Primark five pounds just because he needed a new pair of shorts and that's everything that I got from Primark. Now, let's move on to the items that I just bought from Amazon. Very random, but I think that I think they're going to be really good and essential. So, my friend Lucy is, was on holiday last week, and she shared these. Lucy Hoochin, Hoochin? Lucy Hoochin, I think that's her surname. I'm, I'm sorry, Lucy, if I said that wrong. But anyway, she had these towels on the beach with her kids and I just thought look how tiny these are but they're really big towels and they are sandproof and dry really quick they're like a microfiber I don't even know what material this is it's not like a microfiber cloth if you know what I mean because they're, they're smooth in the finish they're very thin but I just thought these would be ideal like going to the beach because they're so small as well I could just pop them in my bag and I've always got a towel for the boys so I've got them in three different colors I went for the blue the green and the yellow I think they're around $16.99 each from Amazon. So I'll let you know how those go on holiday. She has been raving about them, so I'm assuming they're going to be really good. I did also buy the boys some goggles. These goggles are a bit like sunglasses as well, which I thought would be really useful. When I spotted them, I was like, oh, that would be really good. So this is what they look like. I think Vinny and Renzo would love those. We have got some goggles. Oh, yeah, they go blue. Yeah, so those are going to be really useful for Vinny and Renzo, so I got them a pair each. And they do come with, like, the little ear plugs as well. So I thought that was good. I got two pairs of those for Vinny and Renzo. I got Vinny and Renzo just some balls for the pool. They're always playing ball games um, in the water, so I thought that would be really good. Um, and then also, I've got a couple of other items to show you, two or three items, actually. I got this jewellery organiser from Amazon which I thought would be good for my jewellery of course and any other like small items that I don't want to lose. Real pretty nudie pink colour and then you've got all your sections inside for jewellery and any other small items that you don't want to lose so you can put your like hair accessories in there and all of that kind of stuff so I got that. It's like a little clutch bag. I thought that would be really good for holiday. I also got these which again a little hack for you so you know when you're on holiday and you've got a huge massive hat sun hat and you're like oh shall I take the hat or shall I not shall I leave it because if I don't want to wear it 
where am I going to put it? These. These are what we need. These are actually mitten, mitten clips. So for your like kids mittens. But these are going to be great. So basically you attach this side to your bag. You attach your hat to this. So then your hat is on your bag and you haven't got to think about it. These are going to be really great. So I'm very excited about those. A great little hack, even if you've got your, like your kids hats or, you know, little items that you, you can't really put in your bag because you don't want to like flatten them. Put them on this. Ideal. I've got a pack of four there. Um, I've got white ones as well. And then finally, what did I get here? Oh, these are waterproof bags so if you've got some swimwear or whatever that you want to put in your suitcase but obviously it's still wet put them in these little waterproof bags it's not going to get everything else in your bag wet and um, yeah self-explanatory really you could use these for um reusable nappies and things as well if you use those but i thought those are really lovely i've got these chevron um pattern again those are from amazon i got two of them I think that is everything guys oh my god i feel like i've been talking forever i have actually been speaking for like over half an hour now Ooh, and breathe so i'm gonna edit this for you so it's live on sunday so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video so sorry if i spoke really really fast there i feel like i was speaking a million miles an hour but you did get to see everything that we bought so thank you so much for watching i will definitely vlog while we're away if i get a chance to vlog if we get away keep your fingers crossed for us i really hope we actually manage to go let me know what kind of um holiday videos you'd like to see if you'd like to see anything specific we're just going to be relaxing um, i feel like this is the holiday to relax and the boys are that little bit older now and i just feel like it's going to be so much easier so i'm really looking forward to it but yeah thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.